Hi, my name is Max with Radiant Vision Systems, and today I'm going to be giving a brief demonstration about one of our uh, display test solutions. Radiant Vision Systems has multiple solutions for display testing, some of which are applicable for the research and development environment as well as a production environment. Our solutions have two main components, the imaging colorimeter system and the software that runs the automated testing. This particular system right here is a scientific metrology unit. What that means is we're going to be able to measure luminance and color of a display. This particular system uses tri-stimulus filters. These filters are designed to replicate the response of the CIE color matching functions. And what that allows the system to do is capture data that represents the human perception of color and brightness. This system is high resolution. It is actively cooled to minimize the effects of noise. And that means that we can get very accurate color and luminance data that allow us to determine if a display meets a visual quality standard. On the software side, we're going to be running TrueTest to power this system. And what TrueTest is, it contains a library of analyses that are capable of measuring luminance, color, contrast, uniformity, among many other things. TrueTest also has the ability to register to the active display area, even for displays with unique shapes. The TrueTest software is based around a sequencer, and what that allows us to do is put together multiple analyses and then have them automatically run on a display that is on a production line. So with that brief description of this particular solution, I'm going to jump into a demonstration that shows some of what I've talked about so far. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Run Sequence button up at the top here, and we're going to see that the software is then going to progress through this list of measurements that we have on this left-hand pane here. And we can see that uh, first the camera is going to capture an image, and then we're going to see that it is uh, registering that image down to just the active display area. This is that feature that I mentioned earlier. And we can also see that um, as the sequencer progresses through each one of the steps, it's going to take an image of one of the custom patterns that we have pushed so far. And while that image is being captured, it's going to be asynchronously processing the another analyses. So as it is taking the new measurement, it is running the analysis on the previous measurement that it took. We can see demonstrated here that uh, we're able to push multiple different types of patterns to a display. We started out with a white pattern and we were looking at just the brightness of certain points. And then we're also capable of pushing a display that has a very obvious line defect. And in this case, we're just simulating um, a defect that we can use to demonstrate our line defect analysis. And we can see towards the end here that we're also able to push solid colors to the, to the display. As this sequence step finishes up, we'll see that all of the analysis images are going to be displayed across the top in Windows. Um, and this is going to allow us to look at the image, the analysis image, from that particular step. Now that the analysis is complete, we can go ahead and look at the settings that we see on screen. First, we have a list of all the measurements that were taken during the uh, sequence. We can open up a particular image and see the image that was initially captured. We can then look at the tabs across the top to see the results of the analyses. Here we have our ANSI 9-point brightness. And we can open up a table to see all of that information listed out. You'll see that as I scroll down here, this is the uh, information from the entire analysis that I ran, so all 15 steps that I ran through here. And we can see that you can go through and look at this information for all of the analyses that you ran just by clicking through the tabs across the top. That concludes the demonstration of this particular solution. For more information, please visit radiantvisionsystems.com.